Let's go ahead and spend a little bit of time talking about task management. If you've heard any of my other videos or if you haven't, look them up on my channel. Task management is a huge, huge improvement to your quality of life. So if you're not doing task management, you really probably should take a little closer look to see if maybe task management can work into your life. And to make it a little bit easier, Evernote has really expanded their capability in the task management arena and as those tasks directly relate to things that you're working on. So let's go ahead and take a look and uh, see how we can use tasks in our everyday lives. So stay tuned. So one of the nice things about about Evernote is that you can send information to Evernote. So for example here, we'll use this as our first example. Here is a note that um, I shared to myself. I sent it to myself uh, in Evernote and it collected my information that I need, right? So this is a task as I was reading through my um, email. Oh, this I need to address. Now I happen to know what this is about with American Express. So I can easily from this screen, this is my home screen inside of Evernote and whoops. And we're gonna talk a little bit about how to customize it as well. But here I can just go right in and do and create a new task if I want. So I can do Alt T or I can just hit go. Now here I can just enter in Amex right and i can say it's going to be due today or whenever i can add a time all right let's just say that's fine okay and we're good to go then i just say create the task now that task automatically pops right into my task so when i'm ready to work the task i can just click on it i can say and i i can put in here information that that i did for example what is this task about in the description i can actually list some of the things that I did to do this, uh, maybe call Amex um, uh, corrected, correct address. Okay, something like that. Okay, and then I could just hit save. Now, here I have the information I completed, I did the task, and so I'm gonna hit complete there. I can also, by the way, hit complete here. And now that task goes away. So if I want to see what what information, let's say I forgot, hey, did I work on that or not? I can just do a search here for Amex. And boom, called Amex, corrected address. Or I could drill into it and see all kinds of information that I input into that memo field, okay? or I can delete the task completely. So not only do I have the task itself, but I have a record of what I did inside of that task. Pretty cool, huh? So then I go right back to my tasks, or if I'm lost, I can go right back to home. Now this is good to go. I don't need to do anything with this note anymore. Here, I can save it, or I can do whatever I want with it, okay? In this case, I'm just gonna leave it in my unfiled because I like to make sure that I have um, uh, information, right? I can just search this again and find it. All right, so that's kind of how we take an email message that we sent directly to our settings. Now remember, inside of your settings, we're not gonna go through this in this video, but if you go to, I believe it's account information, you will find your email address. Look for another video. I have another video that explains how to find the email address so you can easily forward your stuff right to, um, right to Evernote. All right, tasks, we'll continue on tasks here and then I'm gonna talk a little bit about customizing this bar. So we already created a new task. We have this task, everything's good to go here, but this is kind of a preview. If we wanna to go to our task, we can click on my tasks or we could just say view my tasks. We can also view tasks as they're broken down by folder that we've created. I'm sorry, by notebooks that we created. So for example, here um, we have tasks that were done here uh, for this camp and we added them all 
uh, right there so everybody can see them. Okay, you can also add notes associated with those tasks, and we're going to look at that in a minute. And then this is my task area. So if you want to find a task, we already reviewed that. For example, def right here, need to put some def in the white menu. Okay, and so on and so forth. Now, you can assign tasks here by clicking on assign, but it requires a different license. So for me, I just put in here in the description. So if I want to find Maria's task, for example, I can just type in Maria space colon uh, hyphen, excuse me. As long as you use the same strategy here, right, with the hyphen or a colon or however you're going to do it, then you can easily find people and their tasks. So if I want to find Hunter's tasks, for example, I can just say Hunter. Now notice I need to go like that, right? Now, did you see I wasn't overly consistent? So if I say Hunter, do you see right there where the line is not quite, see there's a space, but there's no space in this one. So I want to make sure there's a space so that it's consistent in whatever I do. So now I can go in and I can just do Hunter space dash and it's going to come up with every task that I have. So that's a pretty easy way to find tasks within here. Of course, you can search on anything like we um, did illustrated before. All right. Last thing we're going to talk about, so that's tasks. You can create new tasks. Very handy. Let's talk about notes themselves. So here, if I go into notes, let's just look for a note. Um, we'll just look for YC24. It's a great example. Let's go into here. We're going to click on, now this is a youth camp uh, that, that I organized. But do you see the tasks here built into it? So you can build tasks right into a note. So that that'll be, you know, complete, you know, not complete. So as you're looking down through or you're creating your note, here you're, you're seeing exactly uh, what needs to be done. You can assign them. You can do all of that. So that works out really, really well. So you can do that as well. Also notice here in this view, you can see how many are still due. Okay, three of three. So I can see when I embed tasks inside the notes, I can look at my notes and I can see where they are. Now this one, I put dependency because there's a dependency, things of that nature. So you can, that's a tag, by the way. So you can kind of get creative on the things that you need to do. So for example, parking at the airport, one of two are done. Let's go ahead and take a look. Jeff char charge for the personal account, okay? So I still need to do that. Once I do that, it's going to show up to us too. Okay, pretty easy. Now let's do the last thing, customizing this screen. Here, I can get lots of real estate on my screen by just hitting customize. Here, I can see the available widgets for me. In this case, all I'm using are notes and tasks because I want to see where the tasks are. When you create a task, just create a task, for example, right here, it's going to dump it into your things to do folder. And you can see things to do. It's just created a note. You can see it right there. And this is the default task note. And it's just a note that's holding all of the tasks. Okay. So um, you could change that default as well. We're not going to talk about that. But here, I like to see where my tasks are at. Now, it just happens to be all my tasks are inside of things to do. But let's take one of these tasks from YC24 off so that you can kind of see, let's see, this one right here. Okay, we're gonna go home. Now notice it says 26 out of 27, and we should see it. Oh, it's not showing up on our immediate here. I don't know why it's not, should show up there. Let's see here. You can see it says six more tasks. And we're going to see it here, YC24, but um, I would think it would show up here at the top. So I don't know why it's not showing up. So anyways, you can look in, you can see it here, and then you can do six more tasks. It's an application. Sometimes it doesn't quite do what you want it to do. So, um, so that's about it. You can get more real estate by squeezing that in a little bit. So 
That's about it on task management built right into Evernote, things you can do with it. Hope you enjoy it. Take care.